Hey book lovers, Victoria here and you're watching my books with me. Today I'm bringing you my December TBR. I have quite a few books on this TBR, way more than I'm probably going to read, but I'm going to share them with you anyway. So firstly, we have some books that I'm currently reading. And by currently reading, I mean I started them over a month ago, over six weeks ago, a long time ago, and I haven't picked them up since. This first one, for instance... Is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, the first book in the Nevernight Chronicles. I started reading this well before it came out in July. Um, I'm only 220 pages in. I'm enjoying it. I was enjoying it. I just got caught up in reading other books. I'm hoping to get a little bit further through it this month. I feel bad that I haven't finished it yet because I did get it early for review. I didn't finish reading it to review it then. It's just nearly just, it's December and I still haven't finished it. But it's good guys, trust me it's good, but I just I need to get around to finishing it. I don't think I'll finish it this month, but I hope that I will at least get further of the way through it. Then we have another book that I meant to review, and that was Three Dark Crowns by Ken Dare Blake. This one I'm currently 47 pages in, that's even worse. Um, but again, it's just a book that I was enjoying, but I got reading other things and doing other things, so I haven't finished it. Again, this is a book I don't expect to finish this month, but I want to get further through it. And then the other one is one of, is just a book, I don't know. And the other book that I'm currently reading is Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, the second book in the Illuminae Files. Um, this one I'm currently a hundred pages through. This again is just a book. I started reading it and then you want to know what my problem was? I freaking started reading books by Abby Glines and that just effed me up. Also I think with this one it's because I'm trying to get back into the writing style of this. Obviously it's told all through documents and stuff like this. So I'm trying to get back into the format. I'm trying to get back into the storyline. I'm trying to get into these new characters because uh, this is a companion novel series so we're following two different characters in the first book um, so I'm just trying to get all into this story um, hopefully I don't again this is a book I probably won't finish this month but I do hope to get further of the way through it's really not that hard to get through this book despite being huge because of the way it's told it's quite a quick read um, but yeah hopefully I'm gonna get further through this one so now onto the other books that I'm planning on reading this month and to be honest I'm probably going to finish all these books before I even get close to finishing one of those three books. The first one should come as no surprise to anyone here and that is Twisted Perfection by Abby Glines, the fifth book in the Rosemary Beach series and the first book in the Perfection duology. Um, this is following Woods and Della who were introduced to um, in the first couple of books in this series and I'm really excited. I've also ordered the next book which is Simple Perfection and that will arrive this month so if if I get into this one and that arrives on time, um, I'll probably end up reading both of them as well. I read the first four books in this series super quickly, so I'm confident I'll be able to finish this one pretty quickly as well. If I can get into these characters, obviously I love the first, I love Russian and Blair from the first lot of books, so I'm apprehensive about getting um, into someone else's story, but I'm still excited and I'm hopefully going to definitely finish this one this month. Then I also want to read Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. I started this one I think earlier in the year and I just got like 10 pages in and I stopped reading it. Now that I've read Heartless by Marissa Meyer, I am feeling very Wonderland-y. So I want to finish this or reread it or I want to finish it. Um, and then I want to go on to some of the Alice in Wonderland retellings and things like that because like I said, just at the moment, very into Wonderland. I'm excited. This month I also want to try reading Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Again, I started this one, I think it was last year or the start of, no, I think it was last year. Um, and I think I got a really pretty good chunk of the way in. I think I got like 50 pages in. I was enjoying it, but I think I was just reading other books at the time, which is really my problem when it comes to reading. Um, but this is uh, Rainbow Rowell's adult novel. And it is set in 1999 when the internet is a nice new thing. We follow these two girls, Beth and Jennifer, who work at a newspaper office and they email themselves back, email each other back and forth. We also have this guy, Lincoln, who works in IT and his job is to monitor the um, email server. So he is reading their emails and he ends up falling in love with one of them. And like I said, was really enjoying it. So I'm feeling this this month. So hopefully I'll get to it and I'll finish it. Then obviously with it being December and Christmas, I have some Christmas books. I come to the realization I don't own many Christmas books at the moment. Next year I will be prepared and I will get heaps of Christmas books. But my main Christmas read this month 
But my main Christmas read this month is going to be My True Love Gave to Me, edited by Stephanie Perkins. This is 12 winter romances from Holly Black, Ali Carter, Matt De La Pen, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Leverthon, Kelly Link, Myra McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rout, Lainey Taylor, and Kirsten White. Last year I read the first three stories in this and that's as far as I got. This year I am planning on reading these in the 12 days leading up to Christmas. I'm going to read a new story every single day or every single night, which is what I mostly read. I'm very excited. This will hopefully get me into the Christmas spirit. I really liked the first three stories that I read. I'm going to read them again, in, uh, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I've heard really great things about most of these stories. I think everyone who's read this book has enjoyed every single one of them. I think there's only a couple that people haven't really liked, but I'm excited. It it's just it screams Christmas to me. I love Christmas. I can't wait to read this. And there are two Christmas rereads, which just happen to be kids' books because why the hell not? First one is How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Zeus. I have about like three or four adaptate movie adaptations of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and I love this story, so I'm gonna be reading this one again this year. I could literally read it now, but I'm gonna save this until like the week of Christmas because I'm so excited. And then naturally this year I also want to reread The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour and illustrated by Tom Browning. And, and as the title suggests, I'm going to read this The Night Before Christmas. I really like this story in general, but I also love um, this edition. The illustrations in here just feel so beautiful and traditional. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this one. So that is it for my December TBR. Way too ambitious for the end of the year, I know, but I'm hoping that I can get through them, um, either finish some books or get further of the way through some of those bigger ones. I'm probably, I'm just going to say it now, I probably won't get to those three books that I'm currently reading, but what are you going to do? Anyway, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are, and let me know the book you are most looking forward to reading in December. Also, please leave me some Christmas recommendations so I can get some books next year. See you guys soon with another video. Bye!